had a great time tonight. No doubt. Can I ask you something? You can ask me anything. You have a scar over your heart. Yeah. What happened? I stabbed myself. <laughs> you did not. Yeah, I did. Why? Ah, over a girl. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your job. Oh, that's so boring. Well, I want to know. Nothing to tell. Aren't you after like some drug family? How'd you know that? Well, I don't know. We got we got way more important things to talk about. <laughs> course with destiny and it looks like there's no turning back This is the motherfucker y'all were talking about trying to take over my shit <laughs> you must be shit me man you got some large nuts coming up in here trying to take over my shit. That's right, baby. I do. I am the king. Your shit's been taken over, brother. By me, Gio. I've been running this city for years, man. You ain't coming in here taking over my shit. Don't tell me why I'm taking over, brother. I do whatever the fuck I want. This ain't hardly nothing to do with your shit, man. I run the prostitutes, the gambling, the drugs. I make all this money. My shit. You, you ain't coming in. These are my prostitutes. This is my territory, goddammit. I run this shit. Your arrogance is gonna put you six feet under, motherfucker. You don't come in here telling me what to do and what you gonna try and take over? My arrogance put me where the fuck I am now, bitch. Fucking Lee. I don't give a fuck who you are. Bruce Lee, for all I give a fuck. I am the man, brother. I run this motherfucker. I don't know who the hell you with your arrogant ass coming up here talking shit. I run this motherfucking show. You ain't taking none of my shit. You ain't taking my drugs. You ain't taking my hoes. You ain't taking shit from me, motherfucker. Brother, your shit's taking over. You know what, motherfucker? We can either do this my way or your way. Your way, you gonna be six feet under sucking some goddamn daisies. My way, you might live. It's up to you.
Where'd you get these Cohibas? Hmm. Got them off a guy on the street. <laughs> he owed me something. <laughs> you know, everything I know leads us down to this Chinatown area. And I think that there's a connection down here. We ought to keep hanging here. We're going to find something. That's the word on the street. Some motherfucker Chinaman is bringing the stuff in. And a lot of it. More than we've ever seen, truck. Isn't it just more interesting to sit back in a cool summer night like this, smoke a Cuban? <laughs> well, it feels nice, all right. But I think we got to keep our eyes open. From what I understand, this could be the biggest thing we've ever encountered in our fucking lives, brother. <laughs> hey, what? look at that guy over there. Behind you, man. Wake up. Do we know him? He looks familiar. Let's check him out. Let's go. Check this guy out. Uh, does this mean I gotta put out my Cohiba? Where are you with it? Come on, shake a leg. Motherfucker, get up there! Hey. Alright, who are you working for? I will die. I will not tell you. No bullshit out of you, motherfucker! Who are you fucking working for? <laughs> so fucking Yakuza, man. He's not gonna tell us anything. Alright, get out of here! Get out! <laughs> now, do you like his nostrils? This guy? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like his nostrils? Yeah, it's a nostril. Oh, I love his nostrils. I love his nostrils. I love his nostrils. I love his nostrils. Because your nostrils pop out and your nose gets big. Have you ever seen his nostrils pop out? Like a skunk or a possum. You're kind of like a possum. And they pop. 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 Have you seen his nostrils? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we both got our hands on this guy's pants. <laughs> Don't worry, the, the guard's there. <laughs> we all need our escape. Joe, his is seeing the world through the bottom of a glass. Me, I try to hide, become invisible in the darkness of the night. Great view, huh? <laughs> I guess the view just got a little bit better. So what are you doing up here? Forgetting. Forgetting. Maybe you want to go get a glass of wine or something? Sure, let's go. Pretty interesting being caught. Ah, once upon a time it was. You know, the good old days, but um, 
I don't know, everything's changed. Just not the same anymore. What's changed? I don't know, like, like, like when I first became a cop, you know, it was, it was me against the bad guys. You know, I, I really wanted to save the world. And now? <laughs> now? Now the world doesn't want to be saved. Mm. But how about you? Tell me about you. My life is pretty practical. <laughs> it's not as exciting as yours. What do you mean? Well, probably the most excitement I've had is you. <laughs> yeah, it must be a really boring life. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cheers again. Ah, to you. <laughs> ah. So I noticed this cooker. Yeah? Where'd you get it? Stabbed myself. Why would you do that? <sighs> Over a girl. Like you. Oh, I noticed you in the papers the other day. Yeah? Yeah. How's the case going? The case? About some family drug bust. Aren't you in charge of them? Something like that. I mean, why do you care? Because my life is so boring. <laughs> So are you close to busting or? Close. Close? Very close. Mm. Well, what, what are your leads? I mean, do you have, a, I'm, I'm sure there's a head of a head person and then it works down, right? Are you close to the head? About a day away. Really? Yeah. And how are you getting all your information? <sighs> Why do you care? Like I said, I'm just, your job intrigues me. It really does. And I don't know, a guy like you, I'm sure, bust a lot of drug busts, right? Or something. Yeah. So tell me about it. You should talk to my partner, Joe. He's... He has more information? He's so much more into the force than I am. Well, I want to hear from you. Ah, I've got more important things to talk about. She's like a morning light across a Pennsylvania river. Look at her. Look at her eyes. Like true brook trout laying on my plate in morning light. Say that again. Two fresh rainbows. That's all I need. Just like a trout. Morning light. Nice lake. Yeah, I guess. What are you doing here? Forgetting. Hmm. I'm Tina. Nice to meet you, Tina. But I gotta go. How about some wine? Ah, sure. Why not? That's right, motherfucker. You fucking think just because you're gonna fucking hang out with this boy Lee, you're gonna make some money? I brought you this fucking country. Now you're gonna turn your back on me? Hey man, you Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, bitch. That's right. I brought you here. I brought you fucking here, man. You're gonna fucking turn on me? You're gonna be like? You're gonna do that shit to me? See how far that fucking little bitch gets Shut you. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Fucker, shut the fuck up now, huh? Who the fuck's gonna shut the fuck up now? Fucker, never talk to me like that again. Huh? I believe the fuck brought you here. Ah. <sighs> 
to us. Must be so interesting being a cop. Uh, not really. No. <laughs> Then why did you become one? Oh God, that's that. That's such a long story. I got time. Tell me. Ah, <sighs> it was a million years ago. You know, I. I don't know. I you know I wanted I wanted to get all the bad guys. You know I. I wanted to save the world. What happened? I guess it's sad, but uh, the world doesn't want to be saved anymore. But but hey hey, forget about me. Forget I, I'm I'm boring. I mean, you you gotta have an interesting life. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to know about me. Yeah, I do. Well, my life is boring. Regular, normal life, nothing interesting. I don't believe you. Hey. Mm. Oh well. To the moment. To us. I'm interested in a case that you're working on. Why? Aren't you just about to bust some like drug dealer or something? Family? How do you know about that? I don't know. I just read it in the newspaper or something. Oh God. Talk to my partner, Joe. I mean, he's so much more into all that stuff than me. Your partner, Joe. What's up, man? What's up? What's happening? You come to the conclusion that you gonna end up working for me? You want to do something? Brother, I already told you. I ain't with you or against you. Where are you going? Got a date, man. Man, will you forget the chicks for once? Just forget about that stuff. You got a case to work on, man. This, this girl is so beautiful. She is so beautiful, man. They're always beautiful with you. Yeah, but, but this one, this one. She, she's a keeper. She's a keeper, huh? She's a keeper, man. Just put it back in your pants. Quit thinking about Poon Tang and refocus on your job. You are a cop truck. You got it? You're a cop. This time, though, she may be the one. The one? Mm. How many times have I heard that? Why am I not impressed? <laughs> get back on board. Come on, let's go. As soon as he takes off, I'm gonna go down there. We'll get the small guy. Right? It? Right. I'm trying to look over there too much because uh, we don't want them to fear. They're gonna have to see us. So anyway. Just forget about these chicks. Remember, we're close on this thing. We're getting close on a case. We got a chance. Forget the ladies. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow? This case could evaporate in front of our eyes. Will you forget about broads for once? For one time? Looks like the big guy's leaving. Hold on, hold on. Don't look over there. Forget about it. We got criminals, huh? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, man. We, there's stuff on the streets. There's action on the streets. We need to get behind the wheel and get over to Chinatown and quit fooling around. Tomorrow, I'll be with you tomorrow. Truck! Truck! What are you doing? Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Come on.
fucking cock ass up. Get the hell up, motherfucker. Get him. Get the hell up. Say hello to your maker, motherfucker. Now what? Now what, goddamn? I'll blow your goddamn brains out, motherfucker. You ready to go kiss your maker, motherfucker? Snitching on my shit. You're not gonna kill a cop. Shit. Well, get rid of this motherfucker now. Where's the rest? I don't know. This is supposed to be full. Where the fuck is the rest? I don't know what he's talking about. I didn't open it. Okay, listen. I don't think you understood me the first time. This is supposed to be full. I gave this to you. I trusted you. Where is the rest of my shit? I said I don't know. Are you lying to me? <laughs> Am I lying to you? Why would I lie? Where the fuck is the rest? I gave it away. I gave it to Lee. What? What did you do? I gave it to Lee. Why would you do something like that? I just gave it away to Lee, all right? No, it's not all right. Listen, you know what? Get the fuck out of here. Now, get the fuck out of here. And bring it back the right way. You understand? Get the fuck out of here. Wake up, man! Hey, truck. Hey, truck. Hey, you got... You got a funny girlfriend there. You got a funny girlfriend. What the fuck are you talking about, man? She's... She's behind the whole thing. It's her. She's got this whole thing covered. You gotta get away from her. You got... She's gonna kill you, man. She's the boss behind this whole, this whole operation, brother. She's behind the whole fucking thing. You pick a funny girlfriend. You pick a funny girlfriend. Come on, man. We gotta get you up, bro. Uh, uh, oh, shit, man. You gotta go to the uh, gym, man. Uh, uh, okay. We got it. We got it. Come on, man. You got to get a new girlfriend. Sit down.
so you're cold first of all you don't bring me my drugs I just find out that a hundred thousand dollars is missing from the account and you're responsible for this I am NOT responsible for this I am just working working I... for who of course Lee what do you think Lee yes I did exactly what he told me to do, and that's my job. Really? Really? Do you have any idea who I am? Hey, Jack. What happened to you? I got jumped. What? Are you all right? Do I'm you need okay. to go to the hospital? No, I'm fine. Oh my God! Here, sit I'm down. Okay. Let me How get are you? you. I'm okay. Sit down. Let me get you some ice for that eye. Oh, did you go out on another job again? Uh, yeah, truck and I. Oh. We're on a new case. Where were you this time? Chinatown. God. Truck and I. Chinatown. Yeah, yeah, we were in Chinatown. Did truck desert you? Truck desert me? Are you crazy? He would never desert me. Well then how he does this happen? He sticks to me like glue, you know that. No, I don't He's the best that. damn partner I could ever have. Did you take backup in with you? Fuck backup. We're talking millions and millions out of Chinatown this time. And the two of you go into Chinatown by yourselves with no backup? It's gonna make our career. No, it's not. It's gonna make you a dead man. <laughs> Maybe. You can't go into Chinatown with those people, just the two of you, like two crusaders on a mission. <laughs> I guess we're trying to make a reputation for ourselves or something. We so don't want to be anonymous. reputation, you're going to end up being dead. <laughs> Maybe. God, I hate this. I, why did you come over here? Why? Because when I was lying there after they hit me, I was thinking about you. Something came over me. I could feel the breeze on my back. And I could see your beautiful face, and I realized that you're the only thing I wanted in this whole fucking world, was you. That's all I wanted. I thought about your beautiful eyes and your lips. I thought about your gentle touch. We've been through face. all this before. I mean, I want to go on with my life. I don't want to come home and see you come in like this every night. I'm going on, I'm moving on, I'm doing other things. I know you're going on with your life. And that's what made me think. I've been thinking about all the things I did wrong. And how I wanted to start it over again. What about the drinking? What, are you still drinking? No, I'm not. You I'm are? Done, I'm done drinking. Smell my breath. I don't want to smell oh, your no, breath. You, come on. I don't want to smell, smell your breath. breath. How gross. It's early in the morning. Come on, just smell. Oh, God, you've been drinking coffee. Have what? you gone to your AA meetings? Yeah, yeah, I've been there. I don't know, I don't know. This, this seems very sudden to me. God, your shirt is filthy. When's the last time you did your laundry? All I want to say to you is one thing. I'll let you go. If you don't want me here, I'm going to run. I'm going to just get out of here. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I, I have gone on with my life. I've gone back to school. Mm -hmm. I want to get my master's degree. I want to get my own I want job. You to do that. I don't want to just be here waiting around for you, you all the time to see if I'm going to get a phone call and say, well, you know what? He's dead. He and Truck went in, and Truck's okay, but he's dead. No, I, I mean, it's just not good for me. I got an idea. What? Wait till this case is over. We get through it. We get promoted, me and Truck, and take me back. Because I'll have a desk job the rest of my life. You don't have to worry about any of that shit. So I'm just supposed to just sit here and wait, wonder when you're going to call? A week. A week? It won't take more than that This to is going to all shake down in a week? Less than a week. Something's going to happen. I know what I need. I don't know, Joe. I don't know. This all seems very, very sudden to me. You frighten me. And I can't give you an answer right now. I'm okay. sorry, but I cannot just... You know, just, whoop, okay, you know, can't do All that. Right. That's fair. All right. You just think about it, okay? All right. <laughs> think about it.
Call me. pussy thing to do, to drink beer out of a glass. West Coast men, generally speaking, are homosexuals. Let me tell you something, bro. You're drinking beer out of a fucking glass, bro. No, you dude. You need to rethink everything now. No way. You need way. to start from square one. You're drinking out of a fucking Coal glass. miners in the mountains of Pennsylvania drink fucking beer out of a glass. You're gonna pat him yourself after that? Yes, those are the only real fucking men. Rattlesnake but you gotta dig in a fucking cave to be ma a man? Hello, you're talking about fucking Pennsylvania there, brother. So? Digging coal in the Appalachian Mountains, that's where I come from. That's great, but you're still drinking out of a fucking glass. Look, you got Iron City beer, you got the best fucking beers in the world. You got Iron City, you got Rolling Rock, you got all that high quality Pennsylvania beer. That shit is made to be drunk out of a fucking glass after you this put three, four rattlesnakes in a bag, listen motherfucker. Listen here, fucking Crocodile Man. This is the fucking glass you're drinking out of. This is glass. That's for the guys that are whacking each other off on the Budweiser ads. The real men are in the mountains of Pennsylvania drinking fucking natural beer out of the cricks of Pennsylvania and enjoying it out of a glass where they really know how to enjoy it. <laughs> and it's like in Pennsylvania mind. This man knows what he's talking about. So you coming all the time? Jay Burgers? Yeah, I come here all the time. Really? Actually, I heard about this place all the time, but I've never been here. So this is my first time. What should I get? <laughs> here, my, my partner Joe was going to have this. Why don't you try it? That's good. What is it? It's a burger. It's a Jay burger. Hey. So, are you guys having lunch break? Life is lunch break. Mm. You know what? He's so hot. <laughs> no. Ouch! Did I hurt you? <laughs> yeah! Well, what can I say? I just have to. Come on in, girl. Jazz in here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm getting sick of dealing with half stepping motherfuckers, and I'm looking at the queen of half stepping hoes right now. What's up with that fucking bullshit giving me half my shit? I gave you the half of the product. Where's the other motherfucking half? I need all my shit. I gave the half to Satori and I told her I gave the other half to you. You know what? You can bullshit Satori, but you can't bullshit me. Bitch, do you think I was fucking born Tuesday? You know, f fuck that. I got motherfuckers waiting for this shit and you gonna come up here and bring me half of my product. Now what's up with that? I gave it to you, you checked it. My job is done. Bullshit. You lying to me, you lying to Satori's ugly ass. You know, I ain't got time for no bullshitting. I'm in this for motherfucking snaps. I need my chips, I need some motherfucking product to get some goddamn chips. You're lying. You're lying to her, you're lying to me. And what the fuck's up? What, you trying to go into business by yourself? I'm not working for you. I don't need to work for you. Oh, you don't? No, I oh, don't. Oh, you miss all that? You don't need to work for me. Everybody would love to work for me. Who the hell do you think you are? Who are you gonna work for? You know what? You know, you, this is pissing me off. I feel like fucking hanging your ass from my apple tree and beating your ass with a wet rat. Now take your motherfucking monkey ass out of here. You're fucking dismissed. Come, let's go. 
昨日とっても楽しかったの<笑>なあねもう会えるんだよ<笑>どういう意味会えないって<笑>だからもう会えないって言ってんだよ<笑>な他の女の人がいるんでしょ分かってくれよ知ってるわよだけどだけど私じゃあお前の気持ちあるけど忘れられないの行かなきゃいけないんだよな一緒にいて行かないで行かないでよ,行かないでよごめんな<笑> Truck, brother, I don't want to raid on your parade here, okay? I know you've got some、uh, nice action going with this girl, this Asian chick. But I gotta tell you, I believe that she is responsible for a lot of the problems we've been having here. What the fuck are you talking about? Okay,、now? all right. Might as well lay this on you right now. When I got my ass kicked, she was there, brother. Oh, come on, man. What the fuck are you talking okay, about? Okay, okay. I was out, I was on a floor. But I remember that girl's face coming into my face. Oh, come on. Your ass was so kicked. Yeah. Now I feel for you, brother. I mean, your ass was kicked. Okay, it but, was. But, but, okay. Come on. You're h a l l u c i n a t i n g you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I've been, I don't know. Maybe I did too many drugs or something when I was a kid. <laughs> but I believe I have a vision of her face coming down on my face when I'm laying on the ground with my ass kicked. Oh, no, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's just like some. Homosexual jealousy you got going on, brother? Well, I hope not. Maybe I should see the therapist down at the station. No, man, I, you know. No, I'm telling you. I'm serious. This chick is involved. Oh, God. I'm not kidding you. I, I saw her. She was there. And also, she has been involved in this since the beginning of, of us discovering these big shipments down in Chinatown. She's in the family truck. She's in the family. Time for you to die, bitch. Agent Baker, we need you in Asia immediately. What the fuck are you talking about? Meet me in Seoul in 36 hours. I can't go to Asia. I'm working on a case. This is not a request, this is an order. I gotta talk to my partner, Joe. Do not tell anybody. You know the consequences. Yeah. Whatever, fuck you. Oh, shit. Sorry for us, Atari, even though she dissed me on the last deal. I'm sure you send your condolences. But I'll let you know that I'm still the dang one here. I'm the kingpin. I run this whole show. Always have, always will. Don't forget, though, Satori is who backed you up financially. Yeah, well, hell, now she's backing up Daisy's blessed heart. Hey, Satori. So, what's up? 
we might uh, have a sister to sister chat. Okay. Let's see, where do I begin? Um, well, since our father died, uh, you know that I've taken over the family business, right? Mm hmm. I know you don't know much about it, but yeah. there's some things that I need to tell you since I think you're old enough to know. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, what I am doing is not right. I just, I just really care about you, and I've basically been your mother. And I'm just worried. I just want to warn you that whatever happens to me, the last thing I want you to do is be a part of the business. Well, are you in trouble or something? No, no, no. Everything's fine. I'm just saying, if anything were to happen... You don't have to worry about that. I mean, since Daddy died, you've taken over the business. And I think you're doing a good job and you're taking good care of me. I did. Hey man, I got your message. Hey, what is this? Now's not the time to go. We're coming up in the department. We're starting to make some progress. I, I see it happening for us. All this time we put in on the force, it's all, it hasn't all been wasted. We got something to go for now. You're not equipped for any other city but L.A. Come on, you're born and raised here. This is your town. Where are you going to go? Where are they going to accept you? Anywhere but here, man. You know, it's, it, the force is just not the same anymore, man. You can't do anything. I mean, remember the old days? We used to be able to, we'd go up to somebody, take that flashlight, oh, right in his gut, you know? We'd wake him up, we'd get his attention before we could, you know, talk to him. But now we can't do any of that anymore. And that's fine. That's fine because there's new days ahead of us. You know why? Because we're both going to be lieutenants. Stick with me. You're going to make lieutenant. It's going to be easy street. The big salary, the fancy cars, new Mustangs. Man, we're going to be flying. But you, know, you got to stay here and bust some criminals with me. Yeah, we're going to end up in jail, man. They put cops in jail now for the stuff we used to do. Not us. We got weight. Truck we're men of weight. We got you remember that time we were downtown? And I came in that alley, and you picked that guy right out of the window. He's gonna kill me. You remember that time? We were screaming about chicks we fucked. <laughs> yeah, you remember? I got a suspension for three months on that one. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Suspended you can't for three leave months. Me. Yeah. You can't leave me. What am I gonna end up with? Some prick like Tom down at the station? Some motherfucker I gotta ride in the car with his gnarly ass? Let, 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 let him spend a month uh, every time he does something offbeat getting suspended and like no money to live on. Come on. We're a team. We're a team. We're going to drink a lot of coffee the next few years. We're going we're gonna to cap a lot of guys. We're going to have some good times, man. Put the get bad guys away. Good times, man. The good times are gone, man. The force, you cannot do anything on the force what anymore, What are you going to do out there? You're a cop. There's nothing you're qualified to do. You're going to end up on the wrong side of the law. You know, it may be the better side of the lie, you know, you just never know. Where's the train, man? Jeez. Fuck the train. Come back with me. Ride the car. Ride the street. Drink coffee with me. We got a lot of adventures ahead of us, man. You, you're a detective. You're gonna make lieutenant. You stick with me, you're gonna make lieutenant. I'm telling you, I promise you. Either that or we're gonna end up in jail. <laughs> I know you're headed for jail if you get on that train. This is your place. This is your city. There's no other city for you. You gotta take all this energy, man, and, and, and give it to some new recruit, brother. Teach him what to do with it. It's all you, man. You're the only recruit I want. No. Take it all and give it to somebody who deserves it, man. Stay here, man. Bust bad guys, round them up, throw them in jail. Take crack off the streets. This is the good life. This is what we were born to do. Don't get on this train, man. Fuck this train. Stay here in LA. This is the city, this is the place. 
It was a good time, my friend. No, don't go. I gotta go, man. I gotta take a trip, man. Truck. Rethink it, man. Rethink it. I hated to lie to the guy. I hated to not be able to tell him where I was going. But the agency, they don't play games. And I figured it was better to keep him alive than to tell him the truth about everything. The truth he never really needed to know. Well, you wanted me here. I'm here. What's this all about? We should really get together. Where do you want to meet? Okay, 20 minutes. Detective Baker, we've summoned you to Korea because there's a special mission only you can handle. But be careful, you never know who you can trust. <laughs> You look familiar. Yeah, whatever. The word is, you know where I can find the scroll of the Buddha. Maybe this will get me some information. This means nothing here. Hmm. Maybe this means something around here. After a long discussion with my friend they sent after me from LA, I discovered that what I was looking for wasn't in Korea at all. It was in Japan. Well, so much for the intelligence of the intelligence community.
the shaving cream isn't worth shit. face up because I don't have any shaving cream. You know, every time I come here, I know why I shouldn't come here again. But I always forget. I always come back. I am so stupid, so stupid, so stupid. The next time I think about coming here, don't. So what'd you find out about that sleazy cop? Nothing. Nothing. I send you out and you find nothing? I actually think he's not dangerous at all. He's safe. Mm-hmm. How's that? I think you misunderstand him, maybe. He's really nice, actually. Maybe he can be good for our family. Maybe you, you never know. He, I find out he's really nice. You he's actually so. sweet, too. Maybe you can talk to him. You, I don't know, but, you know, maybe he can be good. Who the fuck do you think you are? Don't talk back to me. Don't forget where your roots are. Now go and do your job. Go! Hey, I'm in Tokyo. Yeah. What? You knew that it wasn't there? You made me go there anyway? Well, that's fucking bullshit. Alright, listen, I'll meet you. Where? Where do you want to go? Alright.
did you find it yet? Listen, I like hanging out in Tokyo on these humid June days as much as anybody. But I got a life back in LA. I got things I gotta be doing. You know, I, I brought me over here and I'm chasing down all these leads first in Seoul and now here in Tokyo. It's all equally nothing. Now look, I brought you here to do a mission. Now find what I brought you here to find. First of all, calm the fuck down. Second of all, it's fine. You're paying the freight. I don't mind being here. But it's a goddamn fucking decade or two too late for me to be sitting around here hanging out in Harajuku, drinking beer, looking at the scenery. Get your ass back on the street and do what I brought you here to do. Also known as Tucson, Tucson Express. From Tucson. The French Gila Monster. The Parisian Gila Monster. Good looking in that spatial way. <laughs> I'd kiss her Spanish ass. That's what I look for. I might kiss my you can kiss my Spanish ass. You know what? I'll be fucking Spanish, alright? I'll get my ass kissed. I was Spanish. 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 Sp
kind of feels like I'm fighting my way through a flashback from the past. After a job well done, may as well get my grub on and catch a little udon. battles, the adversity, the rain, walking a long path to nowhere. I felt like Burt Lancaster in his movie The Swimmer. No way in, and no way out. Here it is. What you had me chase all over Asia for. Be careful. Do you know how valuable that is? The Buddha never put a price on enlightenment. I'm out of here.
Satori was soft. She let that cop go. I would never have done that. Who cares about cops? Let them burn in hell. Now listen. I want you to kill him. That stupid cop. He knows too much. The one with that long blonde hair. I want him taken out of the picture. L.A. It felt good to be back in my city. And me, I had a PM rendezvous with a girl I had no illusion about. <laughs> no illusions. Sometimes that's the best place to start. Move or I'll blow your brains out. Put your gun down on the ground now. Drop it. Get down on your knees. Down on your fucking knees. Take it easy. Lay down. Don't you fucking move, motherfucker. Yeah, relax, brother. Just take Just it fuck. easy, buddy. What were you planning to do with this, huh? Blow the both of us away, huh? You like to fucking play games, huh? Just relax, brother. You like to Just fucking relax. play games? Get your fucking hands behind your back. Right now. Lock your fingers. Yeah, man, they're locked. They're locked. Don't fucking move. Okay, get over there, motherfucker. Go on, get the fuck over there. <laughs> so you thought you were gonna blow away a couple cops, huh? You thought you were gonna fucking kill us, huh? What kind of shit is that? You like killing people, ass wipe? Take it huh? fucking easy, man. Huh, ass wipe, you like that? You think your brains will look pretty up on this shit here, huh? I'm fucking with the wrong guy, brother. <laughs> I don't think so, fuckwad. It's not just like grade A, it's fucking superior. Superiority complex. Oh, I don't Psych 101. Thank fucking God. You're telling me I have a superiority complex? I'm just trying to, you know, articulate what this fella is trying to say. I'm not your brother. Don't call me brother again. But there's gonna be big problems. Brian. I thought you were my fucking friend. Let's be friends, we ain't gotta be brothers. I thought you were my fucking friend. We are friends. You wanna call me under the map? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry. You think that's funny? <laughs> call me. I thought it was called on the map. You think you're smarter than me? Of course I think I'm smarter than you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. You think you're fucking smarter than me, motherfucker? Okay. Let me see it, brother. I grew up in an ordinary family, you know? Nothing interesting, but happy. My father was a lawyer. 
My mother was a housewife. She was beautiful. This past few years, my father's work got so busy. I didn't have so much time spending with him. But whenever we did, we had some good times. <laughs> he used to call me Angel. I loved him. One night I came home. My house was all messed up. I didn't understand what was going on. I ran into the kitchen, I ran into the living room and there she was on the couch Did I just kill her, you know? They took me to this basement I saw my father all beaten up They were after this file They're looking for this list which of course my father claimed that he didn't know anything. So they shot him right into my face. They almost got me too. Wish they did. But the story said no. She said I should work for them. So they didn't take my life. That's how we got started. And after that, I did everything. I did everything. I just didn't care. I didn't care about anybody. I didn't care about anything. I support myself, I would destroy this family, just like they did mine. Until you came. Of course, first when you came to the picture, I said to myself, sure, I can use that. I can use you. I could use you. God, I was so close. I was so close. I said to myself, oh no, this is not happening. I sold my soul. I don't love anybody. I don't care anymore. I love you. Just, I love you. Look here, man. I'm the motherfucker that put that shit together to have your ass off at the docks. That was me. Your ass is lucky to be alive breathing. Now look, if you want this motherfucking skeezer ass bitch, punk ass bitch, you better come work for me. I need all your inside information. Now if you fucking want this hoe, you gotta come to my ass first and work for my ass and let me know all your inside secrets, motherfucker, because I don't give a fuck about that stank ass bitch. You got that? Fuck her. She ain't never done nothing for me. All I did was help that hoe out and she ain't done shit for me. So, motherfucker, we got a deal or what? Call me a romantic, call me a fool. I'll probably agree with you on both of those points, but I don't know. Sometimes our destiny is just too deep, it takes too hard a control of us. What could I do? I thought I'd give the girl a chance. You never know. There's always a new world out there.